Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C square. In this example, we have an ellipse and we have to sketch the graph by hand. The first thing you want to notice is the center. The center will be, look here, x minus h, so it's going to be negative 3, and y minus k, that will be 1. This is the center of this ellipse. So I'm going to go 3 left. One up, this is the center. Very important to find this first. And then we're going to look to a square and b square. And if you notice, a square is 24, which uh, it's, I'm sorry, a square is 16, which tells me a is plus or minus 4. So now from this negative 3 and 1, the the red point we have here in uh, right here we're gonna move four right so we're gonna be right here all right so that is another uh, is, is the first vertex in fact which is gonna be one and one and we're gonna move four left from this negative three and one and that will be negative seven and one and those are the two vertices on the uh, focal axis which is why equals 1, by the way. You see it here. And we're going to do the same thing with B. So we're going to take this B square now, which is 4. That will tell us B equal plus and minus 2. And from this red center of the ellipse, we're going to move 2 down. All right, so from negative 3 and 1, if I move 2 down, that will be negative 3 and, and, and negative 1. And then I'm going to move 2 up. That will be negative 3 and positive 3. And I have the ellipse now. Okay. This is the sketch of this ellipse by hand. You can see it here in a better way. And you notice the center and the vertices I, I mentioned. In case you need to find the four C's, then we're going to do C square equals 16 minus 4. That would be 12, which allows us to find C as plus or minus square root of 12, which is 2 square root of 3. So from this uh, center, Right from this center, you're going to move 2 square root of 3 left and right, and you're going to get the foces in case you need them. Or if you want to find the coordinates, add 2 square root of 3 to negative 3 and subtract 2 square root of 3 from negative 2 square root of 3 and from negative 3, and that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C square for more help. Thank you.